Cette semaine, Madame Esseri donne la parole à un homme épatant. Cet homme, c'est Wendell Pierce, figure angulaire de série indispensable tant par leur engagement social que par leur qualité narrative, comme The Wire et Trémé. Celui qui s'affiche sur petit et grand écran depuis la fin des années 80 vient de sortir Le Vent dans les Roseaux, une autobiographie délicate dans laquelle il tire le fil de sa vie, remontant jusqu'à ses ancêtres et racontant avec beaucoup d'amour sa vie à la Nouvelle-Orléans. À 52 ans et après avoir reconstruit la maison de son enfance, dévastée par l'ouragan Katrina, Wendell Pierce fait un point sur sa vie et sur son histoire en nous rappelant ce qui compte vraiment, la famille et la transmission de la culture. Um, the things I was doing after Katrina and what happened, then it turned into something else. It was really an awakening about um, the importance and the legacy of family. It was a, uh, an epiphany about the power of culture in New Orleans and how it's been used over uh, uh, generations. And, and then it became really about um, the, the power of art itself. And, uh, how it can be rejuvenating and uh, really um, restore something in, in you that, um, that you didn't know was lost and that you uh, know is needed, you know, there's a necessity for it. This book was a marker, um, as if I'm marking my passing on the road, that at this point, at this place, um, I came Upon an awakening of the importance of legacy. Dans son livre, Wendell Pierce revient longuement sur Trémé, dans laquelle les habitants de la Nouvelle-Orléans reconstruisent leur ville, brique par brique et planche par planche. Encouragé par ce qui fait le ciment de la région, la culture et la solidarité. With Trémé, we were going through the experience of rebuilding the city. We were trying to depict the emotion of what people were going through at the time after. Uh, a, a major trauma in their life. And that experience uh, ultimately always brings you together um, and uh, really uh, defines a moment in time that um, will always connect you to the people that you went through that moment with. So that's how we became family. Family is the thing that most connects you to the past and are the people that are most likely to be there for you in the future. Home. He's home now. Well, Treme was art imitating life and life imitating art. It was more of than a television show for me, especially when it came. It also was a demonstration of the real importance of art, how therapeutic it can be how art is the place where you reflect on who you are as a society, as a community, where you hope to go, where you define what's important in your life, your values, and then you act on them. What thoughts are to the individual, art is to a society as a whole, and that's what Treme was for me. It was at this moment in time, we lost everything in New Orleans, and to consider all the things that were important to us as a community, decide how we're going to restore it, where we're going to go, are we going to be able to come back? We came back one jazz solo at a time, one second line parade at a time, one shrimp etouffee at a time. You know, we really understood and tried to depict in Treme how that is at the root of why New Orleans is so important, our culture. De son travail d'acteur et d'artiste en général, Wendell Pierce right, entend gentlemen. évoluer apprendre toujours plus sur lui-même. Incarner des personnages est devenu, au fil des années, un apprentissage personnel sublimé par les deux séries phares de David Simon. Come in. I think what I learned about Treme from Treme is uh, exactly what I tried to put in the book, which is uh, I come from uh, a very resilient and strong and loving family. Uh, they have given me all the tools I need to uh, be the man. Uh, I want to be, um, 
spiritually. Uh, and we would function in the world where uh, there are those who don't have my best interest at heart and I'll be able to survive in spite of that and that I should have a great sense of pride in the accomplishment that I have as an artist because so many have created a, a bedrock of what art and culture can be and how strong it can be um, in, in New Orleans. From Baltimore, I learned from The Wire about moral ambiguity that in every aspect in life, people, whether you think it's, um, they are of high moral standing or authority or, or, or are not, there can be a real struggle about doing what is right and what is wrong. And that you uh, should not just assume that you know what is true north or not. You shouldn't assume that you know that when faced with an ethical question, you will always choose the right thing. Here, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Solve the fucking case. Not a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a name. A name? She's not going out to Crownsville, this one. Not on me, she's not. So what are you gonna do with her? Pay for a box of the mortician and ship it back to bum fuck Europe. I am always surprised at how effective and impactful art can be, but I'm not surprised about the importance of its role in our life. Comme Wendell Pierce, nous connaissons l'importance de l'art dans nos vies, d'autant plus après la lecture de son livre Le vent dans les roseaux, qui distille de belles leçons de vie entre deux souvenirs. Oh. 